hello everyone of Instagram or Facebook or wherever you're watching this. As you may know, I don't usually post on these pages very often unless there's some new project I'm promoting or asking for help with. And I'm happy to say that today is no exception because I'm actually here to promote maybe my most exciting thing yet, and something that I've been working intermittently on for almost two whole years, and something that I've dreamt about completing since I was just a little kid, and that's this right here. This is my very first self-published novel, He Sat in the Rumble Seat, and it's available right now on Amazon in paperback form and ebook if you want a Kindle. Now, many of you know me as a filmmaker, but before all that came to be, I knew from a ripe age that foundationally, I wanted nothing more than to tell stories for the rest of my life. In fact, I remember in third grade writing a picture book for class about a guy who's excited to go swimming with sharks, and while he's in the water, the cage cable breaks, and all the sharks start barging their way into the cage. And then the dude wakes up, and it was all a dream. But he was still going to swim with sharks that day and everything played out the same way as it had in the dream. The cage was lowered in, and the cable snapped, and the shark swam in to get him, and then he wakes up again. Now, that all has nothing to do with this book. I just wanted to be clear to everyone that I wrote Inception when I was in third grade. Anyway, this book, which is again titled He Sat in the Rumble Seat. Here, take a look at the cover. Fun fact, that's actually my dad. This book is a small labor of love that is very personal to me. The book follows Abel Dean Hart, a young writer in 1990 who leaves his home life in Iowa to achieve his big city aspirations on the East Coast in Manhattan, New York, and to escape the monotonous, unhealthy, and toxic relationship that he has with his alcoholic father, Talon. Fresh off the publication of his second novel, Abel, now gaining some notoriety, gets word that his father is unwell and might not have long to live. So Abel and his girlfriend, Corinne, embarked on a journey back to Iowa where Abel gets an idea to center his third book around the pitfalls of his very own father. Abel wants answers to the questions we all ask as we get older. Why weren't you there? What made you choose this life? Are we all simply powerless to our genetics? We engage in these discussions between father and son, between Abel and his friends from New York and elsewhere, and between Abel and the love of his life. Abel so wishes to escape the grasp of familial trauma to break the cycle of addiction that runs rampant in his bloodline, he wants to believe that he has branched off the beaten path set forth by his parents and their parents and their parents before them. He wants to believe it, and yet, his brother's words ring out in his head like a wind-up monkey that claps ad nauseum. We're all addicted to something. Like I said, this was a personal book to me, and I would be delighted if anyone out there watches this and then goes to buy the book. However, I don't really want this to sound like I'm pitching you the book. I'm not here to convince anyone to buy it. Frankly, there are way more important causes and way more worthy people that could use your money right now. But, that being said, if you have the means, and if you have the desire to support your artists, friends, and family in these unprecedented times, then here's yet another way you could do so. If you're unable to purchase the book at this time, I ask that you maybe give this video a share wherever you can to get as many eyes on this as possible. And to anyone thinking of buying the book, I ask that you do just two things, just two. Number one, enjoy it. Of course, I can't actually enforce this. You're entitled to your opinion, after all, whatever that may be. And that actually leads me to my next request. Number two, if you read the book, please leave a rating and review on Amazon. Whether it be good or bad, I don't care, as that will allow more people to see it because of, I don't know, algorithms and stuff. It'll also give me some idea of where I can improve as a writer. And that's the important part, really. Now, bear in mind, this is my first outing in the novel writing game, and everyone has to start somewhere. I'm very proud of this book, don't get me wrong. I know that there's room for improvement because there always will be, but to those of you who do give it a chance, and to those of you who share this video, I sincerely thank you. Once again, the book is called He Sat in the Rumble Seat, and it's available through Amazon on paperback and ebook. The link will be attached to the video. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe and sane out there. Thank you very much.